Okay, how to disassemble DV7 HP laptop because of a fan cooling problem. This might not necessarily solve your problem, but uh, anyway, I'm going to show you how to open it up and uh, remove all the parts. There are two versions of this laptop that I've seen on the net. Uh, it's DV7s. They're both DV7s. It's this design and there's another design. You're going to work on this one. This is how it looks like in the front. This is how it looks like in the back. Make sure that you have a place to put your screws. I'm going to put mine there in those uh, cups. And Firstly, take out the battery by moving this latch. You push it to the left hand side and there is a sign here that says uh, battery and there is a sign here that says uh, battery so when you push it the battery uh, jumps up and you flip it open and then when you push the same latch to the opposite side which is the right hand side it will it will take out this cover it will pop open this cover right here on the side and then you can uh, carefully remove this cover okay the back cover now it's Careful. open so what you're seeing now is two hard drives there and you then you see the open side of the uh, laptop what we want to take out now is these two hard drives you want to take out the CMOS battery the RAMs and that which is the Wi-Fi Okay, we'll start by taking out the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Basically, all the screws that we see on the outside shelf. So let's go ahead and take those out. First screw out. Take all these screws out. But now, because these screws are not uh, of the same size, the better thing to do is just take photos as you go along. Or place them just next to where you, you have taken them out. Small one. So all the small ones are actually in between. These long ones are at the four corners. So you can just note that. Okay, we've taken all those ones out. We might as well take these ones out. Now, you can see the screws. These are the screws. Now we take them. And put them here. Okay, next we want to take the hard drives out. Take the hard drives out. Unscrew. One out. Two out. Three out. This is what I, I was doing. So that I can just take photos every time I take the screws out. So that I can know which screw was on which side. And then pack them afterwards. After taking a photo. So that when I take this thing back. I know. We 
magic screw as well. So I know that this one is here, that one is there, there, there. I can just take them out. Put them in a second. Bunch of screws. Second bunch. Okay, that's out. Now we can up. Might as well take this one out. That one is out. So there's a screw right in here. Now next, this hard drive, you hold it like that and you gently take out this cable, gently. Now right at the end here, it's connected right about there, let me just show you. It's connected there. Uh, here we go just about there so this it's it's actually hooking somewhere there so what you want to do there it's pull it's hold with this holder and pull it upwards a little bit of force but not too much force that's a connector there out this connector pull up what? Also pull out the cable that is next to the two hard drives is a similar cable so basically you also pull it out because later it's gonna be disturbing you because it is attached to the motherboard so you can't pull out the motherboard without pulling that cable so you might as well pull it out. Better to place them somewhere safe knowing but there's no way to make a mistake with the hard drives because one cable is longer than the other so it's safe to say that you won't be making mistakes in putting them back okay now so we want to take out this ram okay, just remember this cup the plastic on top of this ram Okay, you don't have to remove that plastic but basically you want to unplug the CMOS just pull it like so and there it has a small little pin so you don't want to pull it basically with with the cable what you rather be doing is okay what you want to be if you have something like that which is crocodile clippers you can hold it like so and just pull it up there we go pulled up there is a tool for this in by the way I just don't have it but that's how you take it out while you are at it you pull out this gently you have to pull them up they just snap out you pull them out with gently just pull these two out they might feel a little bit tight but if you pull it out they just snap out and then the next thing you wanna do is put out these latches these two latches put them out and each okay, let's try that two latches out ram goes up you just gently pull it out ram out then you do the same with the second ram at the bottom you pull it out now this ram it 
might be just a bit of has a bit of tightness so I know that okay this is the top one this is the bottom one okay now that the rims are out what we want to do next is to take out this Wi-Fi chip it has two screws in it so you're gonna have to just unscrew them you unscrew the first one now when you unscrew this second one you might want to hold this down because it's gonna snap up there we go gently when you leave it it goes up and you gently pull it out put it aside unscrew this nut here this one is the one for that's holding the CD drive my DVD is not working as well so I'm gonna check why it's not working okay so now these two we put it aside we go you know it's two this one is one we can put it aside and then now basically at this point you might want to take out this screw and all the other screws that you see this screw that's good. That one's out, out, out. You just want to check that all the screws are out. Now there's another screw there. You want to take it out here. So all the screws are out. Now I'm gonna take them out and put it them as a set somewhere. Take out that's out. Now all the screws are out. Into another bucket. Now you wanna pull out this cable as well uh, let me just get closer and show you which cable is this with my cam that cable there out there we go cable is out there are other three screws <coughs> over here, excuse me, take them out, one, this one out, this one out, now those three are out, there's a screw over here, Take that out. There we go. One, two, three. Put them somewhere safe. Okay, now you can take out the CD drive. CD drive out just pull it out because you've already unscrewed the screw over there and there are three screws here that you're gonna need to take out these three screws have to go out okay we're gonna take them out quick 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 Up. 
one. Out. And the ring. Now turn the laptop over. Now we need to take out the keyboard. Now that all the screws are out at the bottom of this laptop, we're going to take out the keyboard. Now to take the keyboard out, there is a manual that says that you got to have to push the keyboard from underneath. If you look very carefully, there is a sign there, right about there, but there you pop a screwdriver while holding the keyboard on the other side but I found that there is a much better method and that method is right inside the, the way after taking out the DVD drive if you look very carefully underneath there there is sort of a, a hole if you press it up the keyboard just easily snaps out that's the better way that's the better way and then you now start to gently uh, pull out your keyboard so you have this going out then you pull it out very gently being careful to not break it don't completely take it upwards out because there's a cable underneath here you're gonna have to just gently there we go up to this and if you look gently underneath you'll find that there is somewhat a cable okay this is the cable that is attaching to the keyboard now what you wanna do is there is this white uh, block here that is attached to this brown clip this clip actually goes up it goes up you don't have to use any pliers you just kinda like you take it upwards you lift you you sort of gently lift it and then it will oh snatch open like so you see I pushed it upwards so it actually is sort of a, a door hinge so most of these connectors are basically like 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 this they are like a door hinge they are hinges like so you just uh, normally like this one here yeah. you'll see the keyboard is out now can put it aside now these connectors here you all of them have to be taken out all of them have to be taken out now they have a blue thing to better than the keyboard you lift it up gently and like I said gently up lifting or you can basically lift the brown uh, hinge that clips to that and pull it out that's that's the better way to do it actually that's how you do it now even here you can use a plier just to lift just to lift this hinge up and hold this blue uh, blue plastic and pull pull the the connector out once the hinge is up and now the hinge has gone down that's why it can go up so you 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 can use you see how I'm doing it 
I'm just holding it and pulling it. Now we need to take out this one as well. That one. Now to take out that one, you do the same thing. You lift the brown hinge up like so. It's up now. And then you hold the blue and you gently pull it out. It should just naturally go out. Okay, now we're going to remove this last connector out. This connector, I don't know why they just changed the colors. You Instead, you lift the white stuff now. This white is the one that is a latch. It goes up. Then you gently pull out the cable. Now the cable is out. There you are. Now you take out these screws. Out. Let's go out. That screw out. Okay, now what we want to do is take out the cover. This cover, it has to be taken out. Now to take out this cover, what you do is you have to come here to the corner of this laptop just about here see here looks like it's nothing can fit in there but actually you can fit a small flat screwdriver in there and you're gonna have to go there there's no other way and actually try to lift open up your screen and get a, a sort of a flat like that and gently just try to lift it up a bit not too much and go through with it very slowly this is pull it out and if it doesn't go it means there's something that is hooking it up and there might be a screw that you didn't take out like now that what I'm feeling is now if you, you pull it up go through all the corners gently gently until it, it actually goes out it will just definitely go. don't pull it don't uh, as you're taking it out don't completely lift it because there is a cable underneath another cable underneath it's sitting somewhere there show you there we are okay this cable there are two ways to do it let's zoom in one way is to pull it out completely from this top side but I don't prefer that I prefer removing it from its latch underneath here there is a latch you lift the latches all the other latches the latch is white in this case it's not gray like other ones and you just simply pull it out that's the method I prefer to do it with I've seen some guys they want to pull out this top cable out but it's better to keep it that way from here you have your access to your fan but not completely good access because it's still attached to many things you can't just pull it out from here you're gonna have to take the motherboard out if you want to completely disassemble the fan most of the guys they say that from here you can just blow the fan out and everything will be clean and your laptop won't overheat 
but that won't work for me. well it didn't work for me maybe mine has a, a bigger problem but I'm going to completely go all the way and take out the motherboard so let's go take out the motherboard you are going to have to remove some connections okay the first connection you want to pull out is this one here over here that one it is having the same connector connection as the hard drives you pull it up make sure that now because actually uh, when you start you gotta make sure that you have touched a metal so that you don't bring static in here because you stat this thing is gonna just not work for you so I just pulled it out does there out now you wanna pull this one out you wanna pull that one out now as I said, some of these type of connections, be careful when you pull them out because they sometimes are stuck. So, uh, you can use your tweezers or your any other method. I'm going to just gently pull it out. There we go, it's out. Now, we come to this one here this one here what I want to do is to use uh, two screwdrivers so that I don't mess it up I just I'm going to just pull it out like so uh, it's not good to use one like what I'm doing now the thing is I'm holding the camera with my other hand but let me just put it down it's better to do like this. You pull, you pull both of them slowly out. You you kind of like jiggle it inside a bit, not too much, to to loosen it. Okay, now that is loose. Now what you wanna do is disconnect the other cable, which is lying there. It is actually the power cable just underneath the motherboard underneath which is this cable here it is your power cable now <clears throat> you can see if you lift it because the motherboard screws are still on we haven't taken them out so rather let's start with taking out the motherboard screws before we take this cable out so that's what we're gonna do now screws that are involved is this one yet you can see it there out uh, this one here this one here over there here's another screw two screws more one is there the other one is there take those two, those two screws out out Sequentially, 
it's better to put your screws sequentially according to the way you took them out always better now you wanna unplug this cable I'll show you the cable now it is this one here you wanna take it out remember these ones they have a latch that you pull up like so and then this blue thing you just pull it out gently out out there is another one cable holding the motherboard and is this cable here now that one you're gonna have to take it out gently as well Okay, let me use both hands. Okay, we take this one out. Gently pulling it out, 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 out. Sometimes these cables are tight. Ah, there we are. Okay, that one is out move one cable there's a cable that needs to be out this one over here that one over there needs to be out this way to take this out it's out so now you are ready okay now that we have pulled this this is the last cable that we need to 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 take out is the power cable there it is that's the power cable right there now the power cable uh, you're gonna have to to pull it out what I, I usually try to do is is grab it and just gently you know I don't know if you can see I just grab it underneath with all the cables not one cable just gently s squeezing it like so and out there we go it's out but don't pull the motherboard too high because we haven't taken out the motherboard so you might break it so there you are now all the cables that needs to be out are out and now we want to remove the motherboard now the motherboard is connected, it's still hooking up into these ports over here. So as we are taking it out, you will see it's a bit stiffy because uh, we have to take notice and careful of those boards. Of, of. So now we go ahead and gently take it all the way out put it aside there's a tape here that is attached to this uh, fan there is no need for that because it's gonna actually go out with this fan the motherboard is gonna go out with this fan so this cable you can take it out later you can take it out now it's really up to you but now we want to just lift it up just a bit the motherboard it's always a tad going out okay it's out there
Always be gentle. Don't rush as you are taking it out. Don't don't rush. You know, you rush, you break. There you are. You know, you need it to be very gentle and very careful also to not pull even when it's out it's out ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. there is your mother board of course <laughs> it's your mother and his board this is your mother board okay Okay, now that the motherboard is out, here we go. The main problem is this culprit over here. This culprit. But now the problem is my intention <laughs> was to take apart and open this fan inside. I tried to blow it here. Okay, now, this fan, apparently when it spins, according to one video that I saw, it should just freely be able to spin. But the funny thing is that this one, it spins no problem. But it's still, when I put it back together, it still overheats. I've tried to blow it. I don't have the problem is I don't have the gas. I tried to look for it at the sh at the hardware shop. I couldn't find compressed gas to spray it inside here to remove completely the dirt. Uh, in here you can blow all that and make sure that you blow this side but the thing is this piece of hardware which is this fan it's tightly attached to the heat sink itself this is the heat sink they are just combined into one piece here I just try to unscrew the screws on top I thought this cover would will be off I'm, I don't know maybe it does get off somebody might know the trick to that but when you can't pull it when you, you try to pull it it actually is it's tightly attached right there so I don't want to damage it and the manual doesn't say how to detach this fan and actually so that you can just pull it apart and clean it properly so I'm just gonna put it back and if it still overheats I'm just gonna use the current method that I'm using which is an extra laptop fan that I'm using if that doesn't work so we're gonna put it back together I'm gonna show you how to put it back together 